I see more and more people every day posting curling, you know, they're curling or they, they go meet up with you to do uh, curling classes over at big techs. And, um, it's really cool to watch. And, and so you had set the world record, um, just recently, right? Like yeah, it was August, August. And what did you curl on that? Uh, two, 250 pounds. I think a hundred and 113, uh, kg. Mm-hmm. And what was the previous record? Uh, 249. Wow. Okay. So you, you, Hey, you got it. So, <laughs> yeah. Um, so with that, is there, how does someone, I know you stand, but how much leeway is there as far as like, do you have to stand totally still or do you get like a little bit of motion? Um, are they strict with that? Yeah, it's strict. I mean, for the most part, uh, let me, how, how do I break this down? There's a lot of, let me say this first and foremost, you know, there's a lot of controversy around it because it's kind of like, it's kind of like what you see in boxing. People, people recognize one heavyweight. They don't recognize this because federations, they want to oh, combine. Yeah. Um, so with that being said, there's, you know, there's some federations that make you require to put your head back and keep it. So, so in my federation, the one I lifted in was, a uh, you know, Southern powerlifting federation. Um, it was, it was hosted by the, here, let me break this down. It was hosted by the N- NLPC, which was, you know, a company that, adopted other federations rules. So it was SPF and their guidelines say you don't have to keep your head strict against the wall, but your shoulders have to remain in place the whole time. Your butt or hips have to remain in place the whole time. And you know, you have to lift with your standard commands like any other curl federation. Um, Where it varies is some curl federations allow two different bars, different grips. So that's kind of where the controversy comes in because you'll have people that say, well, you held your bar differently than the, than the previous record holder, Dennis Plinkoff, to which I would argue, yes, that's true. But if you look at, and I won't go out into this, but for the most part, the Russians have two different bars. And the newer Russians, the new age Russians, the ones that, you know, some Plinkoff said, I would like to pass the torch and have you guys break my record. They all go with a closer grip. They mm-hmm. all go with a different bar. But yet, when I, as an American, did it, you know, it was all, oh, it wasn't under the same standards. It was a different bar. So it's kind of like, if the Russians adopt a new bar and they lift, it's fine, you know, as long as they keep it in house and Russia passes it to Russia. But the second America, because I'll, I'll say it, Americans have been irrelevant in strict curl. A lot of power forts when it comes, when you're going USA versus Russia, you know, the previous bench record was held by the Russians, the strict curl was held by the Russians. And so, you know, they felt a certain kind of way about it. But, you know, there's different federations. Um, I lifted within the guidelines of my federations. I can't. Nor I don't see why I should. I, I mean, maybe to appease other people, yeah. adhere to standards. Let's say, for example, bench press. You have, you know, you see all the memes. You have the IPF, which allows this contortionist type arch, and your hands can be super wide apart. And you literally see these people bring like three the bar inches. three inches yeah. in their federation. It counts. I can't fault the lifter for adhering to the rules of the federation mm-hmm. they lift in. Yeah. So. On the flip side, I lifted to the rules and specs of my federation, and it is what it is. But I, I will say this, though. I don't. I, I see where people, and I'll say this in all sports, I see where the old-timers or people want to keep the integrity of a sport. I agree with that wholeheartedly. However, over time, technology is going to change. There's going to be better bars. Um, I say this all the time. Basketball players don't no longer play in Chuck Taylors. Mm-hmm. You know, football players <laughs> don't play with leather helmets. Technology is going to play a part of the sport, and people have got to learn to adopt. Do we do we diminish Tiger Woods' records because he's hitting with better clubs than Jack Nicklaus did? I mean, you you can, it's it's almost like splitting hairs. So my job isn't to necessarily sit here and worry about what my critics say. My job, historically, is to move forward and, and move the sport to a different direction. And know this, you, you look at a lot of powerlifters, you know, I'm sure Eddie's Hall first attempt at 500 kg was not as clean as the one he's famous for. You know, Thor's attempt wasn't as clean. So there's been numerous times when, like, say, for example, good friend of mine, Julius Maddox, the first time mm-hmm. he broke the record, you know, the bar moved a certain kind of way. Everybody had something to say. Nobody gives a shit about that particular lift now because when he went on to do the six, the seven sixty, the seven seventy five, so crazy. It's so crazy and it's I was so there smooth. With you. It's so smooth. So what I would say is that that was my first two fifty, but it's not my last. No. It's not the last time we're gonna. So it's going to get to a point 
where that the new record, once I raise it, is going to be so smooth and so flawless, I'm going to laugh. I'll probably laugh and say, fuck, I might have not, you know, felt a certain kind of way about <laughs> yeah. that. But that's yeah. that's my goal, and that's why I continue to strive to set the bar higher and not really worry about the, what the critics are going to say. Because I, I can look back, and I can be honest with myself, was it as smooth or as clean as I wanted? No, but it was my first attempt at the world record. And I think you see this in sports where you're always going to have the passing guard you're always going to have people that are bitter because they did it in their prime versus I'm doing it in my beginning stages. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? The old record holder, Saplankov has something to say about it because he can't go for, for numerous reasons, health mostly, he can't go back and reset that. I mean, he could, and you know, where in the world anything's possible, but realistically he's probably not going to go back. Thor you know, Eddie probably felt a certain kind of way because Eddie did his deadlift at the end of his career. So people are always going to feel a certain kind of way when they can't change time and go back and battle it out. That's why you don't really hear the people who are setting records now going head to head with people. They're not so critical. They're just like, okay, you do this. I'm going to do this. You do this. I'm going to do this. Mm -hmm. it's, it's kind of the people who did in their prime and can't go back. Those are the people I think they're more critical. And that's just records across the board.